the crazy thing about what we do here is that we are living out our resolutions every single day. You know what I mean? We are staying consistent. And so I think my resolution would be to stay consistent. I don't think I'm really doing too much that I'm not supposed to do. And that's because of all the hard work and dedication that's been put into this practice. Uh, and I mean, I don't know, maybe train my dog a little bit more. <laughs> but other than that, well, as far as boxing goes, I think that, I think that I'm, I'm on track. Get your dog in dance classes and Spanish lessons. That's what I expect the next time I see you up here. Uh, Richard Kiki Torres, thank you so much. As I said earlier, it's always a pleasure to sit down with you. Uh, our co-feature of the evening Saturday night is scheduled for 10 rounds for the NABF, NABO Junior Middleweight titles. Xander Zayas taking on Jorge Cortea. Gentlemen, thank you for being here. Xander, I want to start with you. You live and train here in Miami, so did you ever think Top Rank would roll into town and throw you on a card in your backyard? No, I'm being honest, I didn't think so. Um, I'm glad that it's here. I'm glad that I didn't have to take a flight. I'm glad that I'm 45 minutes away. I'm glad that my family team is here with me. And um, I'm excited. I'm excited for this one. I didn't get the chance to, to be in the same car with Rorace at the beginning of the year, but now I got a chance to close it out here in the 305 Miami. <laughs> Amazing. Well, we're excited to be here. Your opponent, Jorge Cortea, thank you for being here as well. Guardian, you help me out here. Uh, from Spain, 14 years in the game. In your two previous fights this year, you stopped two undefeated fighters. Can you do it again against Sandy? Desde España, 14 años en el juego. En tus últimas dos peleas has detenido a dos oponentes eh, por knockout. Lo puedes hacer una tercera vez contra Sandy. Lo, puede, eh, Lo puedes hacer otra vez contra Sandy. Sí, claro, esto es boxeo y todo puede pasar. This is boxing and anything can happen. Just like that. Uh, ask him here, he had a three month camp back in Spain, sparring with the likes of Diego Krasimorov. Uh, how was it? How prepared are you for this fight? Con preparado esta pasta pelea que ha hecho sparring con Diego Krasimorov y otros oponentes. Con preparado esta para este combate del 9 de diciembre. ¿Con cuánto sparring? No, con los sparring que hiciste. Eh, ¿Cuán preparado estás para este combate? Ah, sí, he hecho una muy buena preparación, ya que me salgo con tiempo, que de normal nunca me salgo con tiempo y por eso me he muy bien preparado. I come very well prepared, like I have this preparation for a long time, so I'm, I'm ready to fight. Xander, I'm going to come back to you, 17 and 0, and I feel like you're just getting started. What do we see Saturday night? Bueno, I'm actually glad, estoy, estoy muy contento de que él viene preparado, de que tuvo toda toda la preparación del mundo porque quiero el mejor que le fortea esa noche. Yo voy a dar lo mejor de mí en la última pelea. Demostré por qué estoy hecho para esto y este siguiente combate no va a ser la excepción. Um, I'm glad that he had three months to prepare. I'm glad that he's ready to put on a show because I want to face the best Jorge Fortea ever. Um, last fight I showed why I'm one of the best and this fight is going to be no exceptions. I'll show it again. What does he bring to the ring Saturday night that maybe you haven't seen before? Um, to be honest, I don't feel like there's nothing special. Um, just speed um, overall is the only thing that, that could concern me. Um, he, he's not fast or he's not stronger than me, but um, he does have some good speed in his hands. Jorge, I'm going to come back to you. Um, when you're not fighting, you're training back home. What is it about the sport? that grabbed you on so early, because he does work back home as a trainer as well. When you're not training or playing, what is what you keep close to the sport? Because we know that you're a trainer as well. Yes, the motivation to play, I like it. And it's something that gives me good, and I'm always there. And now that I have a good gym, I'm always there. The motivation of training is what drives me, and now that I have a gym, that's what keeps me going, the motivation. What are some of the things that he looks to accomplish as we close out this year and we move into 2024? My goal right now is just to like win this uh, fight. What would it mean Saturday night for him to leave Miami with a uh, win? Pues subir un poco más el escalón para donde quiero llegar. Quiero tener uno, unos cuantos combates más de, de, de este nivel. Move up the ladder and you know look for another uh, couple of combats in the in the same level. Thank you, uh, Xander. Same question for you here. You know when you enter this ring Saturday night, obviously the goal is to walk away with a W. 
uh, what type of show do you want to put on and what does that do to set up for 2024 and, and some of your goals that you see for next year? Mari, primero quiero darle mis felicitaciones a, a, a una leyenda en el boxeo boricua y, y en el boxeo eh, mundialmente, Iván Calderón, hoy lo, lo inducieron al Salón de la Fama y de verdad que es alguien que admiro, alguien que conozco personalmente y que estoy muy contento de que eso se le haya cumplido. Um, first of all, I wanna, I wanna Congratulate my girlfriend, Ivan Calderon, a good lady in boxing in Puerto Rico and in the world. He was inducted to the Hall of Fame today, so I'm very happy for him. Um, and back to your question, this year I feel like it's been a good year, three fights. Um, to close out the year, I got to close it with a banger. Um, it's a good opponent in front of me, Jorge Fortea, somebody that has the experience. And um, somebody that, again, like he said, is ready, he had three months to prepare, and I'm ready to put on the show like I always do. Thank you guys so much for here. Gracias. Thank you guys. As we move over to our main event, as I said, what an exceptional card to close out uh, the top ranked season on U.S. soil here. I know we have some other fights abroad, but this is the last one for us in the United States. And let me tell you, this main event is absolute fireworks. Two fighters absolutely in their prime, about to go at it. 12 rounds for the WBO featherweight championship of the world. The champ to my right, Robesi Entre Ramirez, and to my left, uh, Rafael El Divino Espinosa, thank you so much, gentlemen, for being here. Again, we're going to have some translating uh, off stage to help me out, or maybe uh, Richard can just chime in, because it seems as though he's proficient in that space as well. Thank you for showing me up, brother. Uh, Robesi, you are making your second title defense now. How has your mindset changed knowing that from now on, everyone you face will be coming to take that belt? Robesi, ya ahora tienes tu segunda defensa titular. ¿Cómo ha cambiado tu mentalidad sabiendo que ahora, cada vez que pelees, tienes a alguien eh, buscando quitarte ese título? Bueno, realmente creo que, que el cambio ha sido para bien. Eh, esto incluye el entrenamiento, que es lo que más hay que cambiar y hay que siempre estar preparado para un gran combate de dos cerrados. Yeah, the, it, it's been a change, but a change for good, um, and especially manifested itself in, in, in training. You just have to be always uh, ready uh, for, for, for the fight, and it, it's no different in that regard. Rafael, I'm going to come to you. What does this opportunity mean for you to have this shot at a world title? Rafael, what does this opportunity mean for you to have this shot at a world title? Hola, hola. Antes que nada, agradecerle a, a, pues a Dios, a mi empresa, a Brand el campeón por esta oportunidad y pues nada es, 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 es el momento de que todo el mundo espera que todo el mundo espera y que incluso yo desde el momento que la primera vez que me puse los guantes quería esta oportunidad ahora estoy aquí y pues es, es todo para mí this is the moment that every fighter uh, waits for like ever since I put on a pair of gloves and now I'm here 6-1 in this division is not normal. How does he take advantage of that height entering the ring Saturday night? Sí, pues trato de, de usar la ventaja. Eh, siempre uh, mi cuerpo es bendecido por, por, por tener esta altura, ¿no? Y, y, y no batallo para el peso. Entonces, sí, la, obviamente lo utilizo, pero me gusta también mucho pues como todo mexicano, ¿no? Ir hacia adelante también y, y, y pues listo. I use uh, my height to my advantage, uh, but, uh, you know, I've been blessed of uh, making weight at 126 with this uh, kind of height. But at the same time, you know, I'm a Mexican and I love to go toe to toe. I'm going to come over to the champ. Champ, how do you neutralize that height advantage? ¿Cómo neutraliza esa ventaja de estatura que tiene tu oponente? Realmente creo que nunca ha sido una dificultad para mí de estatura, eh, pero más allá de, de cómo, cómo yo trabaje, eso se lo veo más a Sala, que es el maestro en eso. Yeah, really, uh, it's never been a difficulty for me facing um, uh, opponents who are taller, but, you know, more so than anything else, I, I just leave the strategy to, to my training coach, uh, Sala, so uh, I'm sure he'll have a strategy for that. How special is it for uh, you to be headlining here in Florida, living right down the street? Yeah, 
eh, defender mi título por segunda vez acá en Miami, que toda mi gente cubana estén ahí, por supuesto, como decía Sanders, tengo a este gran prospecto ahí de respaldo para todos los mejoritos también que estén ahí. Y pues, pues como digo, bien emocionado, llegué el sábado para que puedan ver el show que, que vamos a amar. Yeah, be, beyond all the concentration that I put into like working camp and everything else, um, I'm extremely uh, happy and excited uh, to be here in, in Miami. Um, it, it, it's particularly great to have uh, a young prospect like, like Sander uh, uh, be my co-main co event uh, to bring out all the Puerto Ricans as well. I'm sure the Cuban community here in Miami will come out and support me and I'm just eager for, for Saturday to come and, and be able to put on a great show for everybody. Rafael, you're undefeated, uh, 21 and 0 with 18 knockouts, right in your prime. Is it your time? Eh, tienes un récord de 21 y 0 con 18 knockouts, eh, una gran carrera hasta el momento. Este es el momento para para coronar. Sí, así es. Aquí, pues, las 21 peleas atrás quedan olvidadas y ahora pues, solamente es, es es esta oportunidad, es este campeonato y este es esta pelea. Uh, this is the moment, this is the opportunity. The other 21 other fights are in, in the backside, so uh, we're, looking, we're looking forward for, for this fight. You'll have a lot of family and friends in attendance. Uh, you mentioned that a lot of people made the trip here. Parents, wife, daughter, sister, cousins, aunts, uncles. That's a lot of tickets. What would a title mean not only to you, but to them who are here with you as well? Tiene gran cantidad de familiares que van a estar acá presente la noche de la pelea, muchas taquillas también para esa noche. ¿Qué significaría para ellos que tú te coronas como campeón esa noche? Claro, ellos están aquí porque son las personas que que tienen que estar, ¿no? Son las personas que siempre me han acompañado y, y tienen que estar aquí y pues acabar la bolsa no importa, pero que estén todos aquí. Uh, they needed to be here, you know, they've been with me since the beginning, supporting me, so uh, I'm glad they're here and supporting me. Cham, I'm going to come over and ask the same question to you with, with, uh, without exception. Or with, with the Cuban community is coming out Saturday night to uh, to celebrate, and not only is the Cuban community going to be there, but I'm hearing Ente de Zona, a six-time uh, Latin Grammy winner, will be escorting you to the ring. Uh, it's going to be a party in that arena. How do you stay focused on the task at hand and how proud are you of the Cuban community with all the support that you're receiving? Evidentemente, la comunidad cubana aquí se ha desbordado eh, con, con tu presencia. Eh, tan es así que, que los ganadores de seis Grammy Latinos, eh, el dúo Gente de Zona, eh, te escortará en, en, en tu salida al, al ring. Así que definitivamente va a ser una fiesta eso allí. Eh, ¿qué, qué, ¿Qué comentario tuyo merece eso? Como dije anteriormente, eh, bien contento por, por todo lo que hemos construido, la, gracias a la compañía, por, por, por poder hacer esta, esta cartelera acá en Miami. Y pues, pues bien contento, bien contento, por supuesto, desde el primer momento que hablé con Alexander me dijo que sí, que eso no, que no había problema. Y pues, pues vamos a amar, como dije anteriormente, un gran espectáculo para, para todos los fanáticos. I'm, in, I'm incredibly excited and, and, and beyond grateful to um, Top Brand for, for the opportunity to have this uh, card here in, in Miami where, where I call home right now. And in terms of Gente de Zona, again, you know, it's, it's uh, unbelievable. I, I reached out to Alexander Delgado, who's a, who's a member of the, of the group, and um, he, he immediately said yes, you know. So, so um, uh, again, like I said, we're, we're going to throw a, a big party in, um, uh, on come Saturday, and it's going to be fun to watch. Rafael, one last question for you before we go, and I've been uh, asking everybody here, 2024 is around the corner. What are some of the things that are most important to you inside and outside of the ring as we look to ring in a new year? El 2024 está a la vuelta de la esquina. ¿Qué son las cosas importantes para ti en el nuevo año dentro y fuera del ring? Claro, pues antes del año, pues obviamente quiero nombrarme campeón mundial y después eh, lo que Dios me dé y me tenga preparado para mí. Y, pero pues ahora, ahora mi, mi, mi más grande sueño es, es terminar el 24 con el campeonato. Uh, it has been, you know, uh, since 2023, it's about to be over. Uh, my whole focus is on becoming a world champion. Whatever 2024 brings, uh, I leave it at that up to God. Uh, 
Uh, but right now, my whole focus is on becoming uh, becoming as a champion. Yes, yes, thank you. Champ, one last one uh, for you. You said in a statement that your greatest accomplishments are ahead of you. What do you see those being? Sí, ha dicho anteriormente que, que tus más grandes logros eh, están por delante de ti. Eh, ¿Cuáles tú crees que serán esos logros? Bueno, primero terminar el año con, con una gran victoria con Miami y segundo, 2024, por supuesto, buscar pelea unificatoria, sea Bernardo López, sea Rey Vaca, eh, el que esté de los campeones, por supuesto, que es una de las metas que tengo por 2024. Well, first of all, finish out the year strong with a, with a win here Saturday, and then 2024, make no doubt about it, um, it's unification time, whether it be Bernardo López, Ray Vargas, whoever is there, I, I, I won the, the big fights. Chan, thank you very much. Again, to everybody tuning in, uh, thank you for your time this afternoon. It's uh, an incredible evening of fights.